morning guys we are just getting our day started here in Ashland Wisconsin on our way to our delivery yep that's right looks like dispatch this time is trying to make it impossible for me to make it home Friday yeah they just gave me a reload offer and I'm supposed to go to Michigan City Indiana to pick up a load there and then uh, go home with that load but that adds in a little bit more miles so it's going to be darn near impossible for me to even make it home by Friday I don't know about these guys but whatever it is what it is nothing I can do about it anyways we'll go ahead and get out of here and just keep that left door closed and see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. Anyhow, have a good day, everybody. It looks like Highway 28 is closed today, so we're going to have to continue on straight on Highway 2. I can't say that I've ever done that before. I have always taken Highway 28, <clears throat> so... This is going to be something completely new for me, guys. So wish me luck. Because we're going to need it. <laughs> Continue on this yeah. road for 86 miles. We have 484 miles to go yet. till we get to our customers. So we got a good ways to go. And we got all day to do it. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, I don't... Uh, really have to be there today anyway so I only got to be there tomorrow at 9 which is 8 o'clock central time so yeah we got lots of time we got lots of time so let's see how this highway 2 all the way will be I you know usually up to here it's highway 2 and then I go down 28 it's a little bit shorter and uh, you get the scenic route, right? Because you go by the lakes and all that stuff. So I guess today we ain't going to get to see that. That's right. And I just met another uh, local here, uh, you know, at the restaurant. I just parked there at the corner there. Went in and had me breakfast and uh, talked to a uh, local there. And, uh, you know, he was really interested in seeing my YouTube videos. So... I'm pretty sure he's checking it out right now. And if you are, just remember we are seven days behind. So whatever I record today will be released next week on the same day. Today should be Wednesday and so yeah, should be Wednesday next week when this video gets released. That's usually how we do it. Anyhow, let's get on down the road guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in again for another show here on the Trucker Rudy Show. This is what you see up here, guys. This is pretty much all you get to see. It's pretty much trees and the odd house here and there, and that's all. And yes, we won't be getting any good views of the lake up here today too much. Maybe a little bit later, once I get closer towards that Mackinac Bridge, right? And the other day I was saying, you know, I was probably going to have to come back the same way. Well, it looks like we got us a different roll load offer. We will be going to uh, Michigan City, Indiana to pick up a load there tomorrow and then head home. So that means uh, we'll be going through Chicago. So we won't be coming back up on the Mackinac Bridge. But that won't hurt my feelings. I don't really care to go back on this back road up here too much. I've been going through quite a bit of construction and all that stuff here for the last little while, so finally I get a straight stretch where there's uh, no construction at the moment, so we can just go and nothing is slowing us down right now. We're good to go, no campers or RVs in the ahead of us going like 45 miles an hour, so we're good. But right now I did see a black bear earlier running across the highway. Of course, he was a little bit further away, and he ran over real quickly there, so I didn't get a chance to snap a picture of him, but hey, maybe soon we'll get a picture of one. You never know. 
But anyways, I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a show and see what we're up to and show you what we're seeing. All right, guys, it is time for us to take a little bit of a break. Go check things out. We got the beautiful view of the lake up there. So uh, guess what I'm going to be doing? Bringing my big gun here and I'm going to see if I can take some pictures. Here's some birds up there already. Yeah, that's right. They got a, like a little bit of a stand here where you can uh, basically uh, walk onto. I'll show you here in a minute. But yeah, I'm just parked her over here. Nice little rest area or pullover area, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. It's fairly windy up here today. So we ain't going to be able to fly our drone up here. That ain't happening. But hey, at least we can go walk on here. See that? Got a nice little walk up up here where you can uh, basically just walk up here and I guess you can look through this thing here and get a good overview. I see some campers down there. Yeah, look at that. Great overview over the lake. I'm gonna have to see if I can find these birds. I hear them chirping up here, so I might have to see if I can find them. Yeah, you see how windy it is? Look at them trees go. Yeah, anyways, let me see if I can take some pictures of these birds and yeah, I'm just going to take my half an hour or whatever and then we'll continue on. Alright guys, I think I wasted enough time in here. I wasted about an hour in here, I guess. Well, I shouldn't really, I always say wasted. I didn't waste it. I spent my hour in here. Well, I only needed a half an hour, but I spent it in here because I really, really wanted to take a half an hour break close by the lake like that, you know, and uh, man, did I ever get lucky with a beautiful, beautiful bird. A nice blue bird. It was about that big, probably three inches long. I've never, ever seen a bird like it. Never. I've seen all kinds of pictures on birds on the internet and stuff, but this is the first time I've ever, ever seen one like that in person. Man, I used that app and I was standing on that little uh, thing that they have that where you can walk on. And I was just calling them birds and all of a sudden there was this one brownish bird came up and he was going nuts there. And, just chirping away and after a little while this bluebird all of a sudden I saw it flying in the bottom there like where did that go so I kept calling them and calling them sure enough he came real close and I got me a couple of pictures of him I don't know how good they are going to be until I import them into the uh, computer and have a look at them later but I just quickly downloaded one into my phone and sent it to a couple of my buddies and my wife and stuff like that and that's a beautiful beautiful bird completely blue with uh, a, a different colors on the wings I couldn't quite tell what kind of colors they had on the wings but beautiful bright blue picture uh, bird you know it just looks beautiful with them green leaves in the background so hopefully it's gonna look as nice when I actually import it into my computer and I can get it to uh, blow it up real nice and make it look real nice and all that and I'll be able to share that with you guys look on my website you can usually check that out on my website because I share it on Instagram once I share it on Instagram it gets posted to my uh, to my uh, Instagram right away it looks like the road is closed up here I'm not sure exactly where we got to take the detour I think it's over there yeah, it looks like we gotta go over there, but it looks like the road is closed up here. So good thing I stopped over at that rest area. I was thinking there was another one further down the road, and I guess I was wrong. Well, not wrong maybe, but they got the road closed up here, right? So I don't know where we gotta go, but supposedly the road is closed up here. So I guess we're gonna have to make a left turn. We got no choice. <laughs> Yikes. I'm taking this little dinky road up here, but whatever. We're gonna have to do it. So here we go. 
At least they got proper signage up here, it looks like. In 1,000 like. feet, turn left on oh, yeah. Hot River Road. Now my GPS is going to go nuts on saying, oh, i got to turn this way, turn that way, but they're saying turn right to go east, so that's what In we're going to do. All right, guys, we have made it to our delivery place, guys. Actually, it's the next morning already, and I'm in the dock here already. Ooh, that's a noisy one. I know my AP unit is not working still, right? So as soon as I turn my lights on, I got my <laughs> alarm going off on it. But whatever, that's what it is. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick one here. We're going to go ahead and get out of here and put the files into the computer because I think they're almost done unloading me. Once they're done, we got to go. That's right. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys all watching and we'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. So have a great day, everybody. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente.